Everett with a national news briefing. Charges have been laid against a man from New South Wales who allegedly escaped hotel quarantine in Tassie, sparking a three-day lockdown. He flew into Hobart on October 11, spending almost 20 hours in the community before testing positive to COVID. He'll front court today. To COVID numbers now, and there's been two cases recorded in Queensland overnight. One, an unvaxxed teenager on the Gold Coast, believed to be a close contact of someone from New South Wales, and a woman who flew in from Melbourne who's in home quarantine. Four more Victorians have died from the virus, the state recording 1,510 new infections. And there were 282 in New South Wales and one death. South Australia has unveiled its reopening roadmap. Its border will reopen to all vaccinated Aussies from November 23. And from that date, international arrivals will only have to quarantine for one week rather than two. Canberra has formally committed to reducing Australia's carbon emissions to zero by 2050. The plan includes setting aside $19 billion for low emission tech like solar and hydrogen. Scott Morrison has confirmed, though, that the plan won't be legislated and changes could be made further down the line. And it's not a set and forget plan. And uh, we will be having the Productivity Commission every five years. That will monitor the socio-economic impact of our plans. And a heads up, if you haven't lodged your tax return yet, you have less than a week to get it done. They need to be lodged by November 1st. If you don't, and it's not the first time, you could be hit with a $1,000 fine. Get personalised hair loss treatment in five minutes delivered to your door. Clinically proven treatment for men and women. One pill taken daily. Thehairypill.com.au New South Wales will finally begin their season against Victoria in the Sheffield Shield tomorrow. It's the first of what it's set to be a series of state of origin games with the two teams only able to travel between their two states in the coming weeks. Victorian captain Peter Hanscom says the delayed start has been frustrating. We're still lucky that we've we've been able to train uh, and play, you know, as a as a squad. A lot of people around, you know, Melbourne and Sydney didn't have the same luxuries with their jobs. And the Matildas will take on Brazil in a friendly in Sydney tonight. Selling the family home, Miller, Juan and John put you first. This is SAFM Weather. Clear skies on the limestone coast this evening as we drop to 4 degrees overnight. Tomorrow, a late shower, 28. Thursday, showers increasing, 19. For radio, podcasts, music and news, download the free listener app.